Hi, I'm Dan and this is Solo's Cargo Hold. In this next video, I'm going to be reviewing the Black Series 6-inch carbonised Boba Fett, which was released by Hasbro as part of the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back. Stay tuned while I review the box and then take the figure out for a closer look. So first up, a quick look at him while he's still in the box. They've chosen a really metallic green for the colour of the box, which I think really suits Boba Fett. On the side there, they've got the metallic yellow as well. Um, Star Wars Black Series text at the front and the small 40th Empire Strikes Back anniversary logo there. A uh, nice image of Boba Fett himself. This one isn't numbered, of course. Uh, part of the carbonized series, which aren't numbered. On the back, we've got just a sh very short bio about him. Uh, we've got all the warnings there, and of course, the Disney and Hasbro logo. So overall, I think that is a fantastic box, and I'd even be um, pushed to say probably the best packaging we've seen Boba Fett in. So inside the box we find him in a plastic tray with a really nice yellow backing card and then some vital reading material there down at the bottom. So we'll take this out and have a close look at the figure. So in the tray we've got four items. We have a sidearm, the rocket pack, the figure itself and also the rifle. So just in general, I've heard some criticisms about the carbonized effect on this figure. Um, I think some parts of it look good and some parts of it could have perhaps been better. Um, in terms of the green, the armor, I think that actually looks really good with the carbonized effect. It gives it that really nice sheen. Um, I could imagine maybe Boba Fett returning to Kamino the rain and the monsoon and obviously giving his armor that sheen. In terms of the material though for his for his pants and for um, for his upper torso uh, I think the silver look is perhaps a little bit over the top uh, almost reminiscent of something that you might see in Flash Gordon or Doctor Who or something like that but um, yeah I, I would have been interested to see what the carbonized armor looked like with the matte finish uh, material but there we are you can't have everything we've got the Mandalore logos on his shoulder and his chest which have been printed on they don't have the carbonized effect uh, we've got some detail on his chest plate there showing some battle damage um, same to his helmet in places although where the metallic paint is we don't see really the same weathering maybe in one or two places the belt is also in the carbonized colors and so is the holster for the sidearm. There's also a slightly different cape to the standard Boba Fett. This, is, uh, has, this also has a bit of a sheen to the material. Um, there's a lot of fraying to the edge there, which uh, if anything is a little bit annoying to be honest. It could do with a bit of a trim with some scissors. Uh, what we'd probably more likely to see uh, from Boba Fett is maybe some tears and some burn holes from blaster fire um, rather than what we what we see here so that's slightly disappointing um, I feel that could have been a little bit better so the rocket pack just slots into the back there again this has the carbonized metal effect Looking at his other accessories, we have the sidearm, which is um, just in a couple of colours, but also has that carbonised sheen to it. That'll go nicely into his holster. And then we also have the rifle, which does have some carbonised effect on it as well. We've got the sheen on the handle there, and also some metallic effect on the back as well. So as with a lot of the figures now, 
we have uh, a trigger finger there, which makes it a lot easier to place into the hand. I actually have no idea how this goes in his hand. So it's taken me about 10 minutes to get that rifle into his hand. That's probably the, the best way of doing it there. Um, it's quite bendy, so uh, it's quite difficult to get him to hold it and make it look straight at the same time. But there we go. Okay, so that is our carbonized Boba Fett. Um, in terms of articulation, um, just all the standard articulation that you would expect to see from these Black Series figures. Um, I have to say, some of the some of the joints are very tight. Uh, just trying to bend his knee here. That's a really tight joint. It only goes this far. Uh, and of course, we've got ankle joints as well. Um, all the articulation that you'd usually expect to see with these figures. So I think this figure looks absolutely fantastic in its box. Hasbro have done a wonderful job with the packaging art. Um, in terms of the figure itself, I do really love the green metalized or metallic armor. Um, I just think that perhaps um, where they've carbonized the material, um, that's just a little bit over the top, which is, which is a bit of a shame. But I do love this figure. Um, I think overall I prefer it to the standard Boba Fett um, just because I think it pops a little bit more and looks like a really good display piece. I think most collectors are going to keep this in the packaging anyway and it's going to look really great in anyone's Black Series Mint in Box collection. So there you have it. The carbonized six inch Boba Fett from the Black Series. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe and may the force be with you.